everybody still asleep. It's 20 to 7. I thought I'd better get up, get the kids' lunches done, and yeah, start the day. Today's Friday. Um, I thought from the title, I would do what I eat in a day. I feel like I haven't done one in quite a while, and um, they always get quite requested. Um, I've just been drinking my water. I'm going to make myself standard coffee. Um, I think I'm going to use my Mexico pod for an espresso today. And then I've been using the Plenish Oat, which isn't my, my, my favourite at all. I thought I would try it because it was on offer. But it's, it's not as like creamy as like some of the oat milks that I usually use. You just give it a good shake and then um, I pop it in the microwave for a minute. Can you see it's just not quite as creamy? It's supposed to be unsweetened, so yeah, I'm gonna put that in the microwave for a minute. I need some new batteries because I usually my proffer has died. <laughs> lunches. Alistair's got my pizza last night. He's requested leftover pizza. So that was easy. And then Violet's got like a chicken salad sandwich then. He's just having a yogurt. I'm just going to do him some. What do you want on your toast? What would you like on your toast, Miles? She wants butter and yeah. jam. Do you want butter? Butter and jam. Butter and jam, please. Just doing the chores. Toast on the go. Taking the dishwasher, getting the stuff out for the kids. Alistair's back, yeah. Because he went swimming, didn't he? Yeah. I was to go swimming on a Thursday night. He didn't get back to like quarter to nine, it's quite late, but he loves it. It's like proper late to get his friend. Quick then, can you do it on your own? Yeah. He's got a nappy on, because obviously he wears a nappy to bed, but he never, he's amazing, he actually never wees in it. Occasionally when he gets up, he will just like not want to take it off straight away, so he'll wee in it. Sorry if this is too much information, but yeah, he's pretty much nearly ready to night train, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, he's been fully trained for a few weeks now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do him some jam on toast. Okay, I'm going to have one of the bagel fins, cinnamon raisin. They're already sliced with cashew butter and then I'm going to have some berries. I'm going to the gym this morning and I'm going to find this, you know, just perfect until I get back. But, yeah, they're quite thin. But, um, yeah, I love these. And there's only one left. I feel like when there's just one of something, I just need to use it up. I hate waste. So, that is going to be my breakfast. Okay, my breakfast for this morning, pre-workout I would say, and I've got my big bottle of water as well. Right, I'm heading off to the gym, this is my little in-car post on the way home snack, golden delicious apple, because I want something, I'm usually quite ravenous straight after, and then I've got my water bottle while I'm at the gym. Back from the gym, tomato face, I actually really struggled today. Um, I haven't been to the gym since Tuesday. I only usually go Tuesday, Friday, or Tuesday one over the, or one day over the weekend. It just depends on what days I'm working. But um, I haven't been feeling 100% this week, and I put it down to like the change of weather. It's such a weird thing, really. But I feel I don't know if anyone has this. I mean, I know you know I suffer with migraines anyway. Most of the time they're hormonal migraines, but any other time I have like a long-standing 
migraine like headache that just carries on I can basically carry on with the day but I just feel like proper head fog and honestly I swear it's like the change of weather and like the air pressure in my head um I kind of it's so weird because we've gone from like really really cold and frosty and just really cold weather and now we're kind of moving into kind of that spring weather where it's just quite mild now so it's just wet and mild and yeah it it honestly it messes up with my head as in like I just feel like this real pressure and that's where the headache migraine kind of stems from I think and it lasts for a few days for me this week has been one of those weeks where I've been going to bed with a headache waking up with a headache and just feeling just generally rough so obviously being a mum and whatever you just got to crack on with it no matter what I just I can't lay in bed I can't stop today I made myself go to the gym because I know it would make me feel better in the long run and I wanted to go but I still feel like in this like fog like head fog and I have been taking like the occasional paracetamol I've actually one morning I had to pop one of my really strong pills because I was just feeling rough um but anyway moving on um i did my workout i did find it a little bit tough just because i just i'm not 100 percent of myself i'm gonna have one of my protein drinks uh you probably see the video before this actually my Ocado costco i got loads of these they do them for a good offer at costco the chocolate you fit 25 grams of protein no added sugar fat free 160 calories uh, it's basically a high protein milkshake they're really nice like I really like them they're really um, convenient um, so yeah I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna I feel like I just need some real fresh air and just you know just, I need like a proper breather so even though it's such a nasty wet horrible day I'm gonna take dogs for a walk and just do like a really big loop get them out they're gonna get nice and muddy but I want to get them out for some fresh air but I also need it and it makes me feel good so So we have 22. I'm reliving my youth. Oh my god. Why does it feel so exhilarating walking through rain with wind? I just felt great. Oh my god. It's the little things, honestly. It is the little things in life. I mean, it's cold. I, said, I took a picture of myself and a funny one to Graham said that I'm just walking the dogs. And he was like, ooh, cold rain. You're brave. He's in the cutting room today. He's, um, sorting out his sausages and stuff for the markets tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the shower. I don't wanna take my hat off because I've got such bad hat hair and I'm sweating. I'm gonna get in the shower and then I'll be back for a little doing some major housework. I've been, um, I had a shower. And then I hoovered the whole house. I just, you know, you just need to put things back in order and let the house go a little bit while well, obviously just at home a lot with the miles for the week and you know I'm just picking up basically the whole week um and then I've just mopped the floors so that's all drying um and then I changed Alistair's bed I'm just about to swap some more washing over but I'm gonna have a little snack it is 10 past 11 um yeah I've just been really busy it's one of my favorite snacks um just something to like nibble on sometimes i have this like in the afternoon i'm just finishing up some bags of like bits that i like that not really anybody else eats the kids find these too kale as such they're very um strong greens flavor uh tortilla chips kale spinach goodness green goodness and then also the deliciously Ella sweet potato and rosemary baked crackers. Again, the kids find these just overly rosemary. There's a lot of rosemary in here. But they're really, I find them really, really nice. And then I've just got a salsa, very completely mild salsa. This one is from m and I got it in my Ocado delivery, I think last week actually. But I've just been kind of using it up this week. So I'm going to have, this is my little snack just to keep me going I need something before lunch 
really good. Mm. I ended up watching a documentary for like an hour and a half. It's like one o'clock now. I've been watching Torn on Disney Plus and it bored my eyes out. It's such a sad, kind of happy documentary. But I'm going to have lunch now because I'm starving. My favourite lunch, I either have like scrambled egg or poached egg or something on some sort of bagel or rye bread with avocado. That's basically what I've been having. Or an eggy wrap. And I got some wraps out of freezer this morning so I'm gonna do that I've got my wraps I mean have it I usually only have one wrap but I'll show you how I make it it's super easy so that is just one little egg and then I've been adding the extra egg whites to it just to make it like extra eggy and then I'm adding a bit of cheese Yeah, just some kind of like a medium heat. And I added some spinach leaves. Gonna add a bit of salt and pepper. And I've got this little garlic and salt thing that I like do like to use. It's just it's slightly stronger, but I do really like it. It's got the garlic in there. So I find when it starts to kind of see it coming together a little bit at the bottom, that's when I add the wrap. You don't want to leave it too late because you obviously want the wrap to kind of stick to the egg. Okay, so you can see it's starting to like proper come away. And I just squish it just to make sure like most of the egg is like not too, you know, like too runny. Um, and then I'm going to try and flip it because I do like this because it goes quite soft. So I like the wrap to be a little bit crunchy. I find this always one part in this um, sort of frying pan that it gets stuck on. Just give it a flip. Okay, I think it's basically ready. Um, it's a little bit crunchier. And that is pretty much my eggy wrap. Kids love these. And that is going to be my lunch for now. See how we go. I've got one of these yogurts as well which are really delicious. So I've got about 15 minutes before I, actually no, about 10 minutes before I go get a mile from nursery and obviously do a school pickup. But we've actually, me and the kids have got the dentist. We haven't been since August. We go every six months basically. And um, I've got like a ball of nerves because Violet is petrified of the dentist. She's always gone, like, from a baby. I've always taken her with Alistair. We've always had the same routine every six months. Obviously, it stopped. We didn't go for 18 months through the pandemic because we just couldn't get a space, obviously, and it was closed for ages. But, yeah, August was the last time we went. And she was freaking out last night. Um, we do get her on the chair in the end. Like, we all go first. Um, usually, like, last summer, Miles was the first one on the seat. He couldn't wait. Um... And then it is either me or Alistair. He's cool as cucumber, so am I. I've never had any problems with my teeth. Um, something about Violet, she's just <laughs> she's just one of these girls. She just hates anything. Anything to do with doctors, dentists, she just opticians, anything. She just freaks out. But really kind of quietly. She just just ball up and just go, no, no, and she's really stubborn. But usually, like whether when she was little, she used to sit on my lap. But last summer we did get her on the chair, but I've been giving her, like, I gave her a week warning. I was, I've been reminding her all week. I've got the dentist Friday. I remind her this morning with dentist, you know. She knows we're going, but I know I, I just feel anxious myself because I'm taking three kids with me and it does get a little bit, you, you know, you always sat there waiting. But anyway, I'm going to make myself coffee. I do need to brush my teeth before I go because I always do that, but I'm going to... I'm going to take a snack with me. Miles is going to be like snack, snack. Because as soon as he comes out of nursery and we have to do school run, he loves a snack and I just put a DVD player on for him. He has this like little wind down time before we obviously wait for the kids to come to us. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to choose a snack where it's not like going to leave bits in his teeth because he loves those like yo-yo bears and those little like uh, fish, which are like raisins, you know, and they get stuck in the teeth, don't they? So I've got my rice cake. I might take these little mini rice cakes with me. These are the chocolate covered with the sprinkle of coconut. 
I've got my protein balls, which I was tempted because I just love them. They just taste like balls of peanut butter and they're just so nice and dates, but I know they're gonna be stuck in my teeth. So I think I might take those. And I really want to take coffee with me just because I feel like I need it. I'm really cold. Today's a cold day. And I'm not going to, we're not going to be back for like a good, what, well, ages. Our appointment isn't until half past three. So we probably won't be back till four-ish. Should be past kind of the time where I want to drink caffeine. Oh, and I'm going to be making an instant coffee. Uh, we've been, this is basically what I've been using for the builders outside. And, oh my God, I've forgotten how much it's actually quite nice just to have a normal coffee not too heavy on the milk so yeah that's what i'm gonna have all went fantastic at the dentist violet was a superstar her teeth are perfect now her teeth are yeah now they're quite, well she's still got a lot of her baby teeth but a couple of her, obviously she lost a couple of teeth recently but yeah all is well alistair's being referred for a brace just just because of one tooth it's really frustrating he's got one tooth that is slightly ajar and it would have been perfect if not so yeah, they're referring him obviously nice and early. But it was great, weren't you, Vi? Miles wouldn't sit on the chair. So we had a complete, like, not a disaster, but it was a bit kind of annoying, but I, I would prefer Violet to get on the chair and actually have her teeth looked at than Miles, because I know he's fine. He's just got all milk baby teeth. He's got a full set and whatever, you know? But anyway, back in September, all is well. Violet ate my rice cakes. Just finished my coffee. Shall we have a cookie? Wait, you... I went to Costco yesterday Why? and I've been hiding these because if everybody knows, they just disappear. So we've just been hiding them. You can see daddy's been demolishing them. I had one yesterday. I had none. Obviously, no one's had them apart from me and daddy. That's not good. So we're gonna have a, I'm gonna have one of these ones. I love the white chocolate, it's my favorite, but I'm gonna have the no, double chocolate favorite. with the white inside. Mm. I know I had that. Cheers for doing well at the dentist. We're all Miles don't perfect. Get one. Miles don't get one then. No, he didn't, he didn't get it. The liquid I prepped yesterday. So we were supposed to have this yesterday. I made a shepherd's pie. Uh, I had already got the meat out from the freezer and I went to Costco, ended up buying a giant pizza and they're kind of fresh for a day and it's so big I couldn't really fit it in my fridge. So um, we had pizza for dinner last night with like extra bits, like sides. And um, I actually already made this, so I'm so happy that I've got dinner done. Just need to go in the oven, so I made a nice shepherd's pie. I'm gonna top it with a load of cheese and that's gonna go in the oven for half an hour. Mom. And I have to think about dinner tonight and I'm happy. I feel like it always needs to like bubble and it has to have cheese on top. It just makes it delicious. It's Friday, comfies are on. I thought it may have been a little bit too early to pack open a gin, but then I thought, well, actually, it's Friday. It's quarter five. I haven't had a drink since last Friday. Actually, Saturday, because me and Graham went out on like a little date night, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm having one of these Horton's gin. It's the rhubarb and ginger from Lidl. Graham gets me these every couple of weeks when he goes there. Okay, just out the oven. Look at that. Whoa. And broccoli. Just need a dish up, I'm waiting for Gray. Right, here's dinner. That's, that's Miles, it's obviously not Alistair's. Alistair's, Graham's, we've still got some left over. Um, Alistair's, and then that one is mine. Mm. Pop. Corn for pudding. We're all having. I wish I would have got a big bag, but I only have the small bag, so we've all got a sweet and salty. It's my favourite popcorn. Right, Miles is in bed, and then the kids have just had one of those little Hagen Dazs ice creams, which was so nice. I had the strawberry cheesecake one yesterday, but I don't really fancy ice cream. Um, but we're going to share one of the caramel bars. They're really thin though, disappointing. But yeah, we're gonna have one of those and we've been watching, um, what is it called? Viking Valhalla on um, Netflix, which is really, really good. We've been watching Our House as well, which is on ITV. I think there's only like four episodes. We're already halfway through. But yeah, that is pretty much my day of eating. I am just gonna finish drinking water for the rest of the night. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it's been a bit of like a vlog because I've been a bit rambly through it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you all very, very soon.